Hi there, Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave. Today is Sunday and it's September, so we're doing a September. September. So I'm using the um, twig. So I've been using the twig all week as part of um, SE September and also doing Sterling September with uh, a Sterling soap, lightish red, which is a lovely cologne style scent. Bit of musk in there, some florals, some wood. Hmm, it's a lovely scent. I like this one. It's based, inspired by um, Amber Crombie Fierce. So, it's a very nice scent. So, we're using that, and the brush we're going to use comes from Yaki, the 24mm Glacier Handle with a 24mm uh, two band. Badger knot. This is a standard two band. There's no uh, special conditioning on the tips, just broken in naturally. So it's quite nice now. So I'll just dip that in my super soaker, my Uncle Laurie's monk. And we'll get to and um, do the lather. Starting to absorb the water. Another quarter teaspoon. I expect it will use the whole 20 mil. A lovely scent, not particularly strong, sort of on the lower side of medium. Gonna get off the brush towards medium, maybe. I'll see how it goes when I put it on the face. It's not wafting up out of the bowl. I actually got to sniff the brush. So I'll call it a four out of ten. It's a lovely scent though, I really enjoy this one. As with all still in soaps, no problem making a leather. I'll put 15. Another five. Yeah, 
it's looking pretty good. I've just got a few more squalls. I don't think it needs any more water. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Very nice. All right, we'll go with that. Okay, back from building that lovely ladder. I've already put my pre-shave on just before I started building the ladder. So I'll just re-wet it. We're st still using the Lucky Tiger liquid pre-shave uh, cream, sorry. Liquid shave. Liquid shave cream is my pre-shave. I've got about a two days growth. So there's plenty of hair to trim off. Oh, let's get to and paint this leather on. While I'm painting it on, I'll leave the scent description and um, ingredient list of the sterling light, oh, what's it called, lightish red, just below here. Getting a nice scent coming up into my nose now, so I'll, I'll call it a 5 out of 10 now. Scent strength. Lovely woody, uh, what do you call floral? Yeah, it's got everything in it musk and some green notes. Probably from the um, vetiver, rosewood, probably. Alright, uh, leaf, and we've got a blade in there. The blade we're using is, I can't find a, a packet for it. It's a Wismet Iridium blade, half a Iridium <laughs> broken in half. It's got a half blade in there on its fourth use. My hand's a bit slippery, I'll just put some alum on my fingers. And we'll get into it. That's feeling pretty good. Very nice. Right, what happened on this day? I'm struggling to find things that are happy to happen on this day. Uh, 1297. Speaking of sterling. The Battle of Stirling Bridge. Scottish rebel William Wallace defeats the English. That was the highlight of his career. Because <laughs> a year later, he got defeated. Uh, where, where was it? Uh, in the Battle of Falkirk, 
in July 1298. Considering he's such a short career, it's a wonder he became such an icon. Because he was captured by the English and tried for treason. And of course, he lost. <laughs> I don't know why they call it trials. First pass, very slick as normal. Poor Sterling. So at the Battle of Sterling Bridge, the Scots were vastly outnumbered by the English. That's why the, the battle is so renowned and it was also the first war of Scottish independence. Up until that time the Scottish had their own king. But Edward I took advantage of the king dying and made himself sort of king of Scotland and England. But anyway, in this battle, What Wallace did was he let half the, uh, the British troops come across the bridge and then attack them, or, and then cut them off, and then attack that first half. Didn't allow any more across. And that's how he won. With um, not as many troops. Of course, um, history is a bit phase fuzzy when you go back that far. It's not clear where Wallace was born, or even if he was really Scottish. Anyway, um, a happy note. 1965, The Beatles. Help album became number one in the US. It stayed number one for nine weeks. What was significant about this album was um, seven of the 14 songs were in the film Help, made by the Beatles as well. And on this album, they also, um, what they do, they, mixing, yeah, they experiment a lot more with mixing and they 
did some orchestral mixing on a couple of songs. One was called Yesterday. Yesterday is the, the most covered song ever written. Or rock song anyway. Oh, that's very nice. I just love the slipness of um, well hydrated, good soap. And you can't go past sterling. I mean, value wise, it's unbeatable. Look at it, beautiful. So on the yesterday track, they mixed in a string quartet. And it was only Paul singing on the track. None of the other Beatles were featured on the track at all. They also mixed in the flute on, what was the other song? You Gotta Hide Your Love Away. Uh, John Lennon's song, I believe it is. So the first time they basically used rock style uh, music mixed into their tracks. which became a feature of the subsequent albums like, um, uh, what's it, Sgt. Peppers and Double White. Well, this blade is feeling a lot better than the Lord blade that I used on Wednesday. I don't feel any irritation from the blade. I must have just a bad blade, you know. It's alright, I have already ditched that blade. The bottom came a little bit loose, so I just retightened it. Of course, uh, had favourable reviews on the Help album. I remember it well because my brother brought a vinyl copy of it at the time. I was just a very young teen at the time. I would have been, what, uh, 13, 14? Is it 1965? Yeah, I would have been 13. I'll get that.
there on the hood. They pick a pass. Well, that's very nice. That would be all I would need to go normally. But I like to do a few pickups. And I've got plenty of ladder, as I normally do. So let's get along the bottom here. Do a bit on the upper lip. Oh, let's just do another pass. I don't need it very thick on the last pass. You don't probably need it thick on any pass, I really. Just have it, I suppose. A little bit of buffering. Let's slide. All right, I'm quiet. Well, Frank, things to talk about. Uh, So I'm just shaving. Whippers, I might have. See, we've got little folds of skin, I can stretch them out, make sure I don't nick the folds.
Well, that's lovely. Nice shave. Uh, I think there's just one weeper. Feels pretty good. Oh. Right. I'll rinse off. Do an alum test. A feedback test. Yeah, a little bit of stinging along the lower neck, probably about a 3 out of 10, nothing on the cheeks, on the chin, no, clear, just a little bit above the lip, and in that weeper area. Pretty good. So on average, I'll call it a two out of 10. Just put some little bit extra along the neck. my shave with the leftover leather. Looks pretty good. I put that on my face, I can't have my shower, come back and do the post shave. Oh finished on the shower. Oh the skin feels nice. Smooth, just a few red spots. They're not weeper, so I'm not sure. Well, it's just a weeper up here that I noticed. A couple of red spots, I'm not sure what they are. Could be just skin imperfections. Who knows? Anyway, we'll get straight into the post shave with a bit of witch hazel. It's a methylated one. There's probably only a couple of shades left in that bottle. And we'll put in, uh, in or put on a bit of Lucky Tiger finishing cream. There's my balm. Oops, a bit over, a bit too much, but it doesn't matter. This is also mentholated, a bit of eucalyptus as well. Keep it away from the allies. Too much, I'll put some on the elbows. Just uh, try and rub it in a bit before we put the splash on. Yeah, I'm not doing a, a post shave summary anymore, I'm going straight into the splash, which is the Jovan Musk. I think it'll be a nice complement to the soap. Even if it's not, it's lovely. Mm. When I smell this, I'm reminded of tobacco actually. I don't know anybody else have um, Jovan musk and tobacco? So, what do you think? 
Anyway, that's my show for today. Thank you all for watching. Now I'll just finish up with some Australian wildflowers at the end here. And we'll see you on my next shave.